हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू इस एकेडमी इन दिस लेक्चर लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड स्मॉल सिग्नल मॉडल ऑफ बीजेटी द एम ऑफ स्मॉल सिग्नल मॉडल इज टू फाइंड एसी करंट एंड एसी वोल्टेज सो द मेन एम ऑफ स्मॉल सिग्नल मॉडल इज टू फाइंड एसी करंट एंड एसी वोल्टेज in the small signal model we will be using both ac and dc signal and we will find ac current and ac voltage let us consider the circuit in this circuit as you can see we have connected both ac as well as dc signal here you need to remember that ac signals are represented by small letters and dc signals are represented by capital letters so small vbe is the ac signal capital vbe is the dc signal and small v capital be represents the total voltage in the same way capital ic represents the dc signal small ic represents the ac signal and small i capital c will represent the total current here there are basically three types of voltages which is small vbe which is ac voltage capital vbe which is dc voltage small v capital be is the total voltage here total voltage will be equal to ac signal plus dc signal so we can write small v capital be which is total voltage will be equal to vbe which is ac signal plus capital vbe which is dc signal and also there are three types of currents capital ic is dc current small ic is ac current small i capital c is the total current here again total current will be equal to ac current plus dc current that's why we can write small i capital c which is total current will be equal to small ic plus capital ic let us call this as equation 1 and this as equation number 2 from current equation we can write i is equal to is into exponential to the power of v by vt here is is the secondary current v is the voltage vt is the thermal voltage which will be equal to 0.26 millivolts now we can write dc current as ic is equal to is into exponential to the power of capital vbe divided by vt so we have used this current equation to write the dc current here in place of v we have written it as capital vbe let us call this as equation number 3 and we can write total current using the current equation as small i capital c will be equal to is into exponential to the power of small v capital be divided by vt let us call this as equation number 4 we can write the above equation as i capital c will be equal to is into exponential to the power of vbe in small letters plus capital vbe divided by vt so here the total voltage is replaced with vbe plus capital vbe using equation number 1 we now exponential to the power of a plus b we can write it as exponential to the power of a into exponential to the power of b so we can write above equation as i capital c is equal to is into exponential to the power of vbe 
divided by vt into exponential to the power of vbe divided by vt let us write above equation as ic is equal to exponential to the power of vbe divided by vt into is into exponential to the power of capital vbe divided by vt so this is the dc current as we have derived in equation number 3 so from equation number 3 we got dc current so this equation we can replace it by capital ic therefore the above equation we can write it as i capital c is equal to capital ic into exponential to the power of vbe divided by vt again we can write exponential to the power of a by b is equal to 1 plus a by b therefore we can write the above equation as small i capital c is equal to ic multiplied with 1 plus vbe divided by vt so we can write this equation as small ic is equal to if we multiply ic with this term we can write ic plus ic into vbe divided by vt so here this is total current so this is dc signal and this is ac signal since in small signal model we require ac signal that's why we can write AC current small IC is equal to capital IC into VBE divided by VT. So this is the AC current across the collector. So we got the collector current which is IC which can be given as capital IC into VBE divided by VT. Here IC divided by VT is known as transconductance. This can be represented as GM. By output divided by input is known as trans. Current divided by voltage is given as conductance. That's why it is known as transconductance. The resistance is inverse of transconductance. That's why the collector resistor RC can be given as 1 by gm so this is the resistance across the collector there is one more way of writing the collector current we can write the collector current using gm as gm into vbe since ic divided by vt is gm so we can write gm into vbe now let us find the base current using collector current so we need to convert the collector current into base current. We can write base current is equal to IC divided by beta. Since IC is equal to beta IB, we can write IB is equal to IC divided by beta. So for this equation, if we divide by beta, we will get the base current. So we can write IB is equal to IC divided by beta into VBE divided by VT. So this is the base current. Since IC divided by VT is transconductance GM, so we can write IB is equal to GM into VBE divided by beta. So we can write IB is equal to GM into VBE divided by beta the base resistance rb can be given as beta divided by gm so rb can sometimes be written as r pi so r pi rb both are same so rb is equal to beta divided by gm r is equal to v by i so vbe divided by ib we can write it as beta divided by gm so that's why we got rb is equal to beta divided by gm we can write 
IB is equal to 1 divided by R pi into VBE. Now let us find emitter current. Emitter current can be found by converting the collector current into emitter current. We know emitter current can be given as IC plus IB. Since IB can be written as IC divided by beta, we can write IE is equal to IC plus IC divided by beta. So we can write IE is equal to IC. If we take common, we can write it as 1 plus 1 by beta. So IE can be written as IC into 1 plus 1 by beta. So for this collector current equation, we need to multiply with 1 plus 1 by beta to get the emitter current. So we can write IE is equal to IC is IC into VBE divided by VT. So this equation should be multiplied with 1 plus 1 by beta. So this is the emitter current. Since IC divided by VT is GM, so we can write IE is equal to GM into VBE into 1 plus 1 by beta. Since resistance is inverse of transconductance, so we can write the emitter resistance as 1 divided by GM into 1 plus 1 by beta. Also, we can write the emitter current as 1 by RE into VBE. So these are the different equations for current and resistances which you need to remember. So this is about the small signal model of BJT. Hope you have understood the topic. Thank you.